How awkward is it to say the phrase, yes, I will accept this rose in a room full of people? <laughs> yeah, but if you know me, you know that I had fun with it. I feel like when, when she did that, she said, uh, Michael, will you accept this rose? And I was like, yeah. And then I gave her the whole going back to Dumb and Dumber. I kind of opened up my arms and said, how about a hug? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no, what I'm about. Tickets to the gun show, of course. <laughs> Do not try to get by me, or I'll trap you. <laughs> I've dealt with your kind before. You going out with me this weekend? Absolutely. <laughs> now, so, I've heard there's a lot of alcohol on that set. Oh, wow. It's it's kind of like, imagine if um God created a fraternity. Oh, Lord. So it's kind of like <laughs> you're in a house, and you just sort of look up in the air and say, I could sure go for a shot of tequila. Within two minutes, you got booze in your hand. <laughs> Geez, I could really go for one of those amazing New York style pizzas. Boom, it appears. <laughs> are the people on that show serious about trying to find a mate or are they trying to find an agent? So here's the deal. Um, back when I did this, I know at least half of the guys really were there for, <laughs> ready for a cliche, they were there for the right reasons. There we go. Um, Perfect. <laughs> but, but I mean, but but in all fairness, I really was there. Because I was a teacher in the middle of farm country. Everybody I knew by the time I'm 30 was married and had kids. And I found out that the girl that was the, the bachelorette was her dad was my dad's fraternity brother. And he knew her dad. And he's like, what a great family. And I was like, if I got a chance to do it, why not? What else am I doing? 